From the Target 12 investigators, new details on the Pawtucket project that would transform a local riverfront. Tidewater Landing is a three-site giant that includes a hotel, housing, shopping, and the centerpiece is a 7,500-seat professional soccer stadium. Today, we found out there's still great optimism for the development. But there's also a chance the looming deadline may need to be extended. Target 12 investigator Walt Bito tells us what he's learned. Still a lot of moving parts for this mammoth project. The first deadline is about a month away, with a lot of items still on the to-do list. Skydrone 12 flying over the Pawtucket waterfront that would be transformed into Tidewater Landing, a soccer stadium on one side of the river with a bridge connecting it to a river walk and housing and retail space. Upriver, across the interstate, a 200-room hotel and indoor sports complex. Yeah, Developer so Brett Johnson of Fortuitous Partners offered great optimism for this northern Rhode Island Chamber of Commerce breakfast audience. And afterwards, he told Target 12 his focus right now is finding Rhode Island private investors who want to take advantage of a federal program offering a way to defer capital gains tax hits for investing in a public project. We have countless investors that have deep pockets that have literally hundreds of millions of dollars worth of capital gains or will have capital gains that want to invest in sports anchor projects. Johnson would not provide a dollar amount for verbal commitments so far, saying he's waiting for a number of necessary items from the state and the city of Pawtucket, including lease agreements. Nailing down those details is why Johnson says an extension might be needed for the current early April deadline. Plus, the acquisition of the Apex site still remains in flux. But Mayor Grebian tells us the owner and the city were about $10 million apart when the land was pegged as the Paw Sox ballpark location. Now, he says, negotiations are closer than ever. We're within a million to two away. We're working through this. I feel very confident that we'll get this done. Johnson says the project can move forward without the Apex site. According to Grebian, the city council will discuss the plan approved by the Pawtucket Redevelopment Agency as early as next week. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.